How's it going guys? My name is MLG Gamer and welcome to another update showcase. Well, it seems a brand new mob has just dropped this week and its name is the Piglin Brute and it's hella powerful. Alright guys, so the first things first, I need to show this off in the nether before I get... To, actually no, I, I'm gonna build a portal and I'll show you everything we need to show you about the pig, everything you need to know about the piglin brute. So, uh, I'll also show in survival so you know exactly what kind of person you're dealing with. Okay, so I need a flint and steel. Boom. Alright, let's go in another real quick. Alright. So the first things first, when it comes up, of course. She's a wild a little arrogant. No. Right. So the first things first you should know. The piglin root is exclusive, and I mean exclusive, to the bastions. So uh, let me just turn on the mob. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Just gonna use Wait, sorry, hold on. Need to do that. Um, first of all, I gotta turn on the. No, no, no. I gotta turn on the mob spawning. Where is it? Is it not in this one? On hard difficulty. Uh, maybe it's in the, con the, the video. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Well, whatever. Hopefully this will happen. Hopefully it will still spawn. I hope it will. Anyway, the Piglin Brute is basically um, exclusive to the Bastion. So, if you're looking for your Bastion, you're more likely to find these guys there. But here's the thing. Um, let's just show you what it looks like. Behold! The Piglin Brutes! So, as you can see... As it, doesn't, it looks like it doesn't have any armor. It doesn't spawn with any armor. It has a gold axe. Now, if I go into survival mode, I'll show you how crazy he is. Let me just quickly, um, I'm going to quickly do a little thing with the respawn anchor. Um, oh, where's that respawn anchor? Where is it? I saw it somewhere. Um, hold on. Give me a sec. I need to find that respawn anchor. Uh, you know, what? saves up a bunch, a bunch of time. Just, just um, just type it in. You know what I mean? Respawn anchor. Then I need glowstone. Here we go. Right. So, I'm gonna show you how powerful this guy is. Just how powerful. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you with out armor and with our um the the new netherite armor. He's, he's, he's insane though. He's insane. Hold on. Alright, so. Close to. Spawn point set. So if I go in survival, this guy does a whole heap of damage. Like, and I mean a whole heap. He's not cool. He's not cool at all. Alright, game mode uh, zero. So. The Piglin Brutes. You see how he's coming after me, right? He's fast as hell. He's coming for me. One hit. Two hits. I'm dead. Um, I thought that he would have spun me back, I guess. But I guess not. Anywho, that was just with one armor. Without any armor, sorry. So that's the Piglin Brute without armor. Two hits and you're... What the heck? Oh wait. Oh I know I heard. Oh yeah, that was the that was the what you call it there. That was the survival wave. I, I was trying to get that ready for for um the survival wave, the next survival wave. There's piglins it's spawning a lot of them at the moment, as you can hear. Um But anyway, we're going back in there. We're going back in. So, there we go. 
So that's the piglin brood, right? That's a that's a, he hits twice basically. And not just he got any arm. No. Just Alright. So I'm gonna put on the, the netherite armor you're gonna see. Basically they spawn trying to put these the check and stuff, you know. I don't know why that didn't work out I wanted it to it just spawn right back, but anyway. Um Come on, get out of the flame, there you go. Right, so, I put that arm out. And then I go back in survival. It basically won't do that much damage compared to when you had no armor at all. Uh, there he is. See that? One hit. Just one hit. Just takes one hit. See that? And see that now? I'm back, in the, I'm back in the respawn anchor now. It takes about seven hits or so to kill these guys, by the way, with a sword. You, if you have a diamond sword, it takes about seven hits. They like have 50 health or something like that. They're ridiculous like that. So, um, yeah, basically this is one of the strongest mobs in Minecraft at this point. I mean, right next to the wither, I suppose, and the golem. So that's done. And it can drop its axe, by the way. It can drop its axe. So that's how it works, basically. And I make going game mode creative. Now, so that's basically what they've added to the game. So we have this piglin brute, right? Oh, it can spawn with enchanted axe? I didn't know that. I had no idea. Okay, so basically, yeah, this thing spawns in the bastions. Doesn't Spawn with armor, spawns with his axe, and it's you know it's just it's just a really tough mob. If I take a sword, right? This is what I was trying to say. Diamond sword. This is how much hits it takes. Let's 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 try this out, shall we? Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the amount of hits it takes. If I try a netherite sword. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. So, your best bet against this foe is to, you know, use a netherite armor and netherite tools, basically. Otherwise, you're probably going to run into some major trouble. But also, it's also worth mentioning, these guys, like, are very different from the piglins, regular piglins. For one, I don't know what that was, but okay. Yeah, what, this is worth mentioning. If I put on gold in front of it, it's not distracted by the gold. Normally, the piglin would just be like, oh, I'm going to pick up that gold right away. If I throw the gold in front of it, it won't, it will be like, yeah, I didn't even notice it. So, gold will not, like, distract it. If I wear a gold boots right now, just like normal gold thing, and go in survival mode, it will not take it likely. Let me just go in survival here. See that? Still, It still tries to kill me. And I'm wearing gold boots as I speak right now. See? I wear gold boots. And he's still hitting me. So yeah, this is basically it. So basically, you can't simply avoid it by just wearing gold or putting gold in front of it. It will not be distracted like that. It just it just won't. So that's how it works, basically. Um, give me a second. I was already in survival. Crap, I messed up. <laughs> um... Um, give me a second. Alright, right. So I'm in creative now. So yeah. The Piglin Brute does not get distracted by your gold armor. It doesn't get distracted by your gold. It doesn't get distracted by anything. So the moment you see this thing in this armor and this this gauntlet, just run. Just run. Because, yeah, it's going to kill you straight up. And, to make matters worse, <laughs> it alerts all the other piglins around you. 
So if I put several piglins around and survive and, and I hit it, all the piglins are going to come after me, basically. So, forget all the sneakiness. You wanted it to be sneaky in the bastion. This thing just ruins it straight up. But, hey, it's a good challenge. It's a good challenge. I'll give them that. It's a good challenge. And I'm glad they did this. What I would love to see, however, is... And by the way, this is just seven hits, by the way, that it takes. Six hits with the netherite, seven with the diamond um, sword. Depends on if you put sharpness or something on it. Maybe it will do more, do less hits. I don't know. But most definitely, it's different from all the piglins. It will still attack you whether you mine the gold, whether you're wearing gold armor, whether you put down a gold in front of it and it will distract it. That's how it works, basically. And, of course, if I go into the overworld briefly, let me just... Let me just go into overworld and I'll show you. It has the same idea as the piglin. Go into overworld. Wait, what did it... What? What happened then? Alright, right, if I go into overworld, this piglin brute will eventually turn into a piglin after a few seconds. See it shaking now? See it shaking? It will turn into a zombie fire piglin, I meant to say. So this piglin root is going to turn into a piglin, a zombified piglin, in a few. Strangely enough though, I thought it would have kept its golden axe. I guess not in Bedrock Edition. So as far as I know as well, by the way, piglin roots exist only in Bedrock Edition, not in PC or Java. So I don't know when Java's one's going to come out. I don't know, but... That's basically how it works, basically. So let me go back to the nether. Right. Yeah. So the alien root is going to be something crazy in the nether. In the, in the bastions, alright? There's our alien root right there. You know, if now, to end off the, the showcase, I will say, um, if they... Uh, we make it so that you can spawn. I've heard people say this, and I think the same way. They should make it be able to like drop this uh this uh gauntlet right here that he's holding in his hand. Here's an idea that I was thinking of as well. Some people were saying that if you wear the gauntlet in an extra slot, you could probably prevent you from having to wear gold armor to deal with the piglins. But I have a better. I have another idea for it, where if he drops the gauntlet rarely. It will, what you call it there, um, give you extra health. Just like how he has more health. That would be interesting. That's how they could implement the health boost thing. Because it's been in the game for a while and, well, hasn't really been implemented. So you could implement it that way. Just get extra health boost. Even if it's just like 10 health, maybe 20 health. You can do whatever you want to do with that. But so the gauntlet can drop and it will do something special, you know? Um, but yeah, this it's much harder to deal with than in normal bastions. It's crazy. Uh, it's going to spawn other piglins. It's going to be hell to deal with, quite literally, because the nether is hell. Yeah, so, yeah. But I recommend they, if they're going to really, like, fully implement it now, like, fully update it def and put it in Java, make it so that you can drop his gauntlet. Definitely. His gauntlet is something I would want to see. And these enemies make it so that your health boosts. You can boost your health or whatever. And also, it's worth noting as well that when you kill it in the bastion, it will no longer spawn back. So, if you see one and you manage to kill it, you will have you can take a breath, sort of, <laughs> because you won't have to worry. I also noticed as well that it's, it says also that you it can spawn up to twenty of these in a bastion, which is insane. And they only spawn on generation of the bastion. So I'm guessing, what I'm not so sure about if that mean what that means is, if they will spawn like if you're just, you know, you're just traveling and you find a bastion. I know that you will see the piglin brutes then. But what if you found a bastion before this update, right? Will you go back there and find piglin brutes when you go back to that bastion that you've already discovered long ago, or will it just like? not have the piglin brutes at all and you'll be fine with that particular bastion but others won't you won't be as hot 
Um, but yeah, they spawn on generations. So I think if you keep going, keep exploring the nether and you find a bastion, you're more likely to find piglin roosting there. But, uh, and they obviously be blocking the chest. So yeah, this is going to be, this is going to make the bastions, you know, much more difficult. So netherite armor and netherite, everything's going to be needed for this one. But anyway. That's basically the Piglin Brute. If there's anything I've missed on it, I will put it in the description. Um, but yeah, leave a like for the new Piglin Brute. It's it's pretty cool. Brand new mini boss. I was hoping we would get a boss with this Nether update eventually myself. So leave a like for the new the new the new mini boss right here. And uh, why not subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.